A black demigod with powers similar to those of Jesus appears in Africa in the 1960s. According to an ancient astronaut theorist whose source was a gentleman who worked for the high-ranking elite, a black man showed up in Africa in the 1960s with anomalous powers similar to that of Jesus. Per local villagers who lived in the area he showed up to, he seemingly appeared out of nowhere, but immediately began performing miracles, healing the sick and feeding the poor. After this, of course, rumors began to spread. Unfortunately, the wrong people caught wind of his existence. This group immediately sent out mercenaries to take him out. Just days later was their first attempt on taking his life. They quickly found out he was more powerful than they had anticipated. After firing the shot and hitting him, he would instantly heal. Now before I continue, please do keep in mind that this is once again a story shared by a particular source. Does it mean it's true? Absolutely not. It is subject to a lot of scrutiny and may or may not be true. So as always, my people, for entertainment purposes only, and also the story gets slightly graphic, so if you don't like that, take leave, please. Per the source, what happened next is absolutely insane. After many unsuccessful assassination attempts, this group tried a different tactic. They approached the gentleman and told him that the United Nations would love to have him and allow him to share his message with the world. The man was surprised and figured they finally came to their senses. So he boarded a plane that was said to be heading to the United Nations headquarters. But he quickly figured out he was lied to. And apparently, using guns, they continued to fire at him over and over again. But every single time, his body would regenerate instantly and heal. So bullets were 100% ineffective. As a result, they go to the next extreme. Warning, this is a little disturbing. But they take him apart into many different pieces. After doing this, they took him and they put him into radioactive shielded containers that wouldn't allow him to regenerate. These containers were very technologically advanced and said to be created using ancient alien technology. Once they did this, they landed the plane while multiple fighter jets landed alongside of it. These fighter jets each took one of the containers and were ordered to fly them to different parts of the world. So the pilots flew his remains to different corners of the planet. But before burying the containers, they were remotely activated and they incinerated the rest of the remains. The ashes were then buried in a deep grave in the middle of nowhere. Days passed and the men that were behind this eventually got comfortable becoming almost relieved that they were able to get the job done. But of course, they got comfortable much, much too quickly. One day after arriving at work, they settle into their top floor CEO suite style office, not even thinking about Black Jesus. They heard something behind them, only to turn around and see him standing there, regenerated, fully intact. They couldn't believe their eyes in absolute terror gripped their hearts. But of course, remember, this gentleman was much like Jesus in his nature. So he did not seek revenge or attack them. He simply said, okay, fine. You don't want my presence here, then so be it. But be warned, in the near future, I will return and many like me will be by my side. This time, there will be no stopping us. We will seek and achieve what we come here to do. And hopefully, you're on the right side of things at that moment. After saying those words, the black Jesus simply vanished and has yet to return to Earth. Oh, what a crazy story, right? I couldn't help but share it. I had to share it because, you know, that's my style. I love to talk about these types of things. And let me know in the comments what you guys think. Did this really take place or is it just some crazy made up tale regardless once again absolutely fascinating to think that somebody had such powers or some being had such power what's more is i can't help but be slightly irritated if it is true that we had another opportunity for a jesus-like scenario and once again it was squandered in the end it's just something to think about but i hope you all enjoyed Stay in the love, stay in the light. Be kind to others. I am out. Also, if y'all want to check out the source for this story, it's History Channel's ancient aliens expert, David Wilcock.